In this video, we'll talk about a guide to organizing your life. Are you ready to take control of your life once more and learn how to organize it so you can enjoy better mental well-being? Then keep watching to discover a few top tips. How to reduce your obligations and commitments. The first step is to look at your various obligations and commitments. Do you really need all of them in your life? Are there some activities that you could quit to give yourself more time to unwind or spend with those who really matter? It's time to weed out anything that you can't live without or that makes you anything less than happy. If it isn't necessary and you don't love it and it's possible to ditch it, then let it go. Next, be selective when taking on any new activities or pastimes. Before you agree to anything or leap right into something new, take the time to think about it. Do you really want to do this new activity? Will it add something positive to your life? Or will it drain on your emotional resources? Make a decision based on your answers to those questions. A guide to reducing social media use. Social media is proven to be one of the biggest causes of FOMO. It stands to reason that we look at other people's profiles and often feel jealous of the lives that other people seem to be living. However, it's important to remember that in most cases, people present the image of their lives that they want others to see rather than depicting the real truth of their situation. A family member can appear to be perfect on a Facebook profile, but the members could all be suffering on the inside, without those scrolling past recognizing it. Never compare your inside to other people's outside. If you're finding social media platforms are causing you to struggle mentally, or you're finding that you're spending more and more time scrolling through pages rather than getting on with your life, it's time to reduce your social media usage. How do you get started with this? Short of actually deleting your profiles, you might find that a simple place to begin is simply to sign out of your profiles when you've finished checking them. If you have to go through the rigmarole of signing in every single time you want to check your notifications, you'll soon begin to reduce your usage. If this doesn't work for you, you should try leaving your phone in another room or in an inaccessible location for part of the day and never keep it by the bed at night. This will help you to limit the amount of time you spend on social media. How to reconsider your routines. Are your routines causing you mental strain? Then it's time to give them an overhaul. It can be all too tempting to stay stuck in a rut because change is scary, but that's rarely a good cause of action when you've lost control of your life. Take a look at how you spend each day. Is it working for you? Which elements are causing you to struggle? How could you move them around to make life easier or less stressful? For example, if you've scheduled a workout at the gym before you go to the office, but you're struggling to get out of bed because you're so exhausted, and then find it difficult to focus at work for the rest of the day because you lack energy, it's time to look at how you can make adjustments. Consider moving the gym to after work or even to your lunch hour, and take some extra time in bed so you can be well rested and increase your productivity at work. Just say no. One of the best things you can do to organize your life more effectively is to just say no. Don't be afraid of hurting other people or losing their friendship or love. Nobody who cares for you will think any worse of you if you back out of an ongoing commitment that you don't have time for or if you refuse to attend an event or participate in an activity because you simply can't fit it into your life. Saying no can be very difficult, especially if you've never really done it before. However, once you start practicing, you'll find it very liberating. You will never need to accept an invitation that you don't want to accept again. You'll never need to go to an event that you dread or participate in a time-consuming activity just because someone else wants you to. Sometimes it's okay to put yourself first, and when you're trying to take back control of your life and improve your mental well-being, it's perfectly acceptable to decline politely. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.